In problem seven, it says, Emma recently purchased a new car. She decided to keep track of how many gallons of gas she used on five of her business trips. The results are shown in the table below. So we have this uh, results right here. It says, write the linear regression equation for these data where miles driven is independent, is the independent variable. And we have to round, round all our values to the nearest hundreds. Okay, so um, <clears throat> in order to answer this question, we're going to have to make use of the, the graphing calculator. We're going to be using a TI-83 plus to do this problem, as you can see. And this is a, the outline of the steps that we're going to be using here. All right, so let's go over this real quick. So first thing you're going to do <clears throat> is go to stat and then edit. Uh, this is the stat. Where's the stat button? Mm. There it is right there. So you're going to stat edit. And then you're going to enter um, values into your list one at least two. The first row, we can look at this as the X column. You put that in list one. And then this row, this column right here goes in list two. You're going to go to the stat plot menu, turn, up, turn on the stat plot function, and then use zoom 9 to generate your scatter plot. Okay? All right, so let's go ahead and um, and generate the data for this set right here. So what we're going to do is um, follow the instructions. First of all, we're going to go to stat, the stats button, button, and then edit, option one. And then at least one, we're going to enter all these numbers. Okay, so 150, enter. 200, 400, 600, and then lastly 1,000. And then list two is going to be number of gallons used or your uh, dependent variable. Seven, enter nine, and oh, uh -oh, that was 10. 10, enter 19, 29, and 51. Okay? enter. You can go over your entries again to make sure that they are correct. All right, looks good. Now we're done with uh, step two. Step three, we're going to go to second function stat plot. You notice that the stat plots are turned off, so we have to turn them back on. So we're going to turn on stat plot one. Press enter. And then you have on highlighted here. You press enter. We want to use the scatter plot graphing option. Okay, that's what we need here. Um, now you just press zoom and then nine. And there goes your plots. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to calculate the um, linear regression. So after generating the plots right here to calculate the linear regression, you're going to go back to stat, the stat button, and then calculate gives you all the um, statistical functions that can be used to carry out calculations on, on a data set, okay? But the one that we're concerned about is linear regression option four, all right? Linear regression, press enter, enter, and there goes your results, all right? So let's go ahead and write that down. Now, what's the significance of this? A is a slope M and B is a y-intercept, all right? So we're going to write it down. Note that we were to round the answer to the nearest hundredth or two decimal places. So <clears throat> we have A. Let's bring that to the calculator. A is equal to um, 0 0.05. So since the number behind the 5 is less than 5, uh, we just truncate those pieces out. We don't have to round up. And then for B, we have negative 0 0.92, since the number behind the one is uh, is five or greater. All right, so since uh, we have Y is equal to AX plus B, our linear equation is going to be what you get when you plug A into this value right here and then B into that. All right, so let's go ahead and plug them in. You're going to have Y is equal to 0 
x minus 0 0.92. So this is your linear regression equation for the data set to the nearest uh, 100. Okay, go ahead and box that.